Hello everyone, back to the pieces. Today I'm gonna show you the game with uh, Sigita Smadis in from the match uh, Lithuania Poland from December last year. We random this position and just in the big shortcut uh, I'll tell you that last few, last few years I was not really happy with my playing style, I found it too defensive uh, and I didn't really enjoy uh, the way I played and last I think last two years I uh, started to play more risky try, try to play more sharp positions uh, I just decided that first of all I have to enjoy the games doesn't matter results so much and it actually it actually worked for me because I got back a Polish title and a rapid game in the same the same way uh, I managed to get 100% points so be before the game with the same approach uh, I ran them black pieces in this position I was trying to find something creative of course the obvious plan here is double exchange and get the outpost train that w which helps with uh, developing those those pieces which are very good to do so. So the obvious plan of course is double exchange, keep the outpost and unfortunately exchanging two pieces. So I was uh, very hard trying not to do it in here. But it's not really easy. First of all I uh, rejected this plan. Uh, I don't have many options after c5 white exchange and exchange and look I can't move any of those pieces I have only two left to play and soon soon enough um, white win this game and if for example I was trying to find different plan maybe waiting still but then again white can play uh, here and then I'm forced to exchange maybe he can he can exchange it here and still uh, give me some uncomfortable position or maybe he could do something like this and lock lock this wing on this wing I can't do much so this is really really already difficult here uh, and a position like this would be again hard to play and white would have clear advantage here but then I came up with the idea maybe simple exchange without developing this piece could get us some interest position and I think it is it is playable and then I started to calculate variation like this with the attack here and white is Zugzwang doesn't have uh, anywhere to wait to take this piece and we could play some position like this and before I'd already uh, show you this type of position on the channel in one of the other videos but in the other position I believe it was uh, symmetry. Now to make it symmetry here probably this piece should should be here. I'm not 100% if it was exactly the same position but but I think it was something like that. But this piece here changed really everything so I, would, I couldn't feel confident about it and there is many many uh, different options now for for black, for white of course as well. I did a little analyze to see what we could have played here. And it could come up with something like this. So very very interesting game, very sharp and that's what I was really looking for in here. Uh, but then I thought I'm not playing individual this time. We are playing for a team and I sort of thought what if all the other boards 
will will make the draw and this this idea will be the only reason why our team lost and that's why after long thinking maybe 10 15 minutes I decide to play play it simple play it safe unfortunately uh, just after two moves I, I was about to regret this decision and let me show how it went and here because I spent so much time on the first move I was trying to uh, get a bit of time back play a bit quicker and I become a victim of my own, own simplifying the position because it looks like there is nothing happening uh, yet so let's just develop the the other wing this time and ju just after Sigita's move I realized uh, that I'm in deep, deep trouble because after attack I can't I can't uh, keep my outpost because he uh, he can attack and win it um, there is probably in two ways he can either play here and then take it or first here and take it so this is not possible so now I realize that uh, I'm not disappointed only because the maximum what I can get from this position is a draw but also with my uh, poor performance, poor, poor play. Uh, let me just show you, in the second game my opponent played the same variation and here the right move is h8 g7 and the attacks of course not possible because of simple defense so that's the way I should have played. But anyway, what can I do now? Uh, I have to give my best and try calculate as far as possible to try find the best defense even if the position is lost still I will do my best to to give it a good score to give it a chance now Sigitas play straight away G, G1 F2 maybe maybe yeah, it's, a, it's a good move of course but maybe it's a bit early that he's showing his hand what he's going to do because in this position he played here but there is many different different strategies here he can still wait he can after uh, use strategy like this so there's many different options but he straight away uh, define his define his plan here and maybe that makes it slightly easier for me to find the plans because I already know uh, what he's going he's trying to get here from here so yeah the game went like this and in this position I'm forced now to play on e5 if I play anything else f4 will be winning now again I'm forced to do another move over here uh, if I would play here then white simply wait I have to play here and exchange uh, is winning the game so that's why I had to go here to keep to keep this column in case he does this so I have to play here and at this time um, at this time I couldn't see any defense if my opponent would exchange back. Now there is a lot of pressure to do on those pieces. It's, I cannot develop it at any point because again f4 uh, is winning. So after the game I, I told Sigitas that simple exchange back and I didn't see any defense. There was no nothing to do but what he told me yeah but you can still try something there is still a game and in the variant I chose I didn't see any opportunity for you to try see, basically he he have seen it that it's already done and you will see how far he could he was able to calculate 
and uh, what he missed in the end. So let me show you first how he could have win here. So for example over here I have to keep those two here in case of attacks. And now the win is still something like this not possible because of this. So the winning move is over here. So this is a bit hard to find from from the distance from a few moves before. But the idea is I can't play on a3 because of this. And then white win the piece. And if I play here then I'm locked over here and the game is done. So that's one of the ways to win this. But after the game, uh, well, Sigitas decide to play still on b2, I play on b6, and now Sigitas exchange on e1. And again, after, after the game, uh, Arunas was uh, saying that exchange here still would be winning. So a3. And in the analyze, very interesting. A variation came up here, here, and here. And basically, this move is already losing, but this time, uh, this time it is losing for white. So black uh, simply a3. Now white has to go over here. This doesn't change nothing. Uh, and after a5. Now, uh, what's the white options? First, very, first of all, c3 is not possible because of exchange here and after exchange here black has free weight for a king, white won't get there so early so I believe it is winning. Another one, another option is uh, exchange back but then simple shot is winning for black and the last move possible here is e3 f4 and looks like black has no free move to do this but uh, then in in the uh, in help comes majority rule in Brazilian drafts and that's how uh, that's how we played in this analyze white has to take three making a king on e1 and winning it this way so that was really really cool by um, variation over here but again after the analyzing this uh, Arunas was right this was still winning for white so after here white can't play here but if he play here now exchange back is still winning for white and for example if 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 I want to develop these weak pieces then c3 and there is no defense for, for that so yeah that was the idea I just want to show you that I was big in big big troubles uh, luckily for me, Sigitas exchanged it that way. And uh, now, uh, I play on b4. Also, there was an idea on c5, and after that, shot like this, withdraw. But I played played it that way sorry white goes on g5 I'm still forced and 
and white do sacrifice and go in the middle trying to get the king in the next move and now the move that Sigitas missed uh, in the position I was telling you before was c5 and the fact that he will have to take two instead of one so yeah that was pretty cool game I'm happy I recovered let me know what you think about all this and see you next time cheers